right, guys, before we continue with today's video, I just wanted to sit down and talk really quick about Opposition Games. They are my newest sponsors. They have all of the top meta cards on their shop. You guys can check them out. And if you guys want to buy anything that is Yu-Gi-Oh! Pokemon or Magic, of course, you guys can get 5% off using Savage 5 my affiliate code. So make sure you guys check them out. The link will be down in the description. Hey yo, what is up guys? Your boy Ed from Elite TV Chart and I got my boy Omer here and he's gonna show us off his U Belt deck. Omer, you talked the other day, man, for playing the deck for the first time. How'd that go? Um, I've been playing the deck for a while already. Like when uh Final Nightmare came out, played around for a little bit. Then when the new support came out, it was Phantom is the card. You have to play the deck. Dang dude. You have to play the card to play the deck, excuse me. <laughs> Yeah, that's awesome. You want to go ahead and get into it? Go for it. Alright, cool. Let's go. First, shout out to my boy Korean Jesus. You already know. Always blessing. Always. The best normal summon, in my opinion, Drip Reckoning. Searches out gate. Don't judge me for this. Alex, Alex doesn't want to trade me for the Ultra. Shout oh, out to him. No. But... <laughs> Possibly, this is like the best normal summon you need yeah. for for the deck just to get to the spell card. And honestly, this one, the Chaos Summoning, I like this card because if you don't have any other ways to, to try to get an additional normal summon or whatsoever, it's just free summon yeah. to make uh, what you call Yama. So, I mean, I like this. I might cut this down to two to be honest, but I mean. For right now, three is really good because I play um, the rank two that negates monster effects. Cool. Uh, and yeah, we play two skates. I'm only playing two because you don't want to draw this. You rather draw this than this. Yeah. Because this goes to this and this goes to that, basically. But I like it a lot. And for the U belt package, three Lotus. You have to play Lotus. Probably the second best normal summon. Chibi for cost, bring out spirit. Spirit go off from there. And then three spirit, one regular your bell, and one uh Terra Carnet. Yeah, these are all Euro. All Look Euro. You, Shout out to my boy Alex for trading it up. I need more Euro stuff from here, but I mean <laughs> I'm gonna keep it as light right now. Yeah. That's good for now. A lot of people are trying to cut uh spirit to two because of the Fiend Smith, but I just feel like even if you play this at two or three, I like I, I feel comfortable playing three for yeah. sure, especially for the battle phase part. Cause let's say they negate and destroy it, and this would trigger out to bring this. Yeah. Especially if you have nightmare pan on board. The three extenders, I like playing three. You you have to play three cause it's just a free summon and a free banish to bring out any Yubo monsters or spirit or whatsoever. I have plays where um, actually shout out to Henry. He showed me a tech that I'm gonna show you in a bit where you can just send this and let's say you have spirit in in your hand, you banish a special spirit from hand without normal summoning. So you can see your interaction. The best spell card. Man, Nightmare those, Thrones. This, this is like the main field spell card you need for this deck. Cause without this, the deck is ass. Deck is ass. You can chain block whenever like, you build monster is destroyed by effect by so whatsoever. Really love this card. That's crazy. And my favorite card since Voiceless Lloyd have their own barrier, we have Nightmare Pain. This this is um, probably the best continuous spell card you need and you have to play the three up. Just so that like you activate it, get a free pop, free special, whatsoever. And during your uh, your opponent's battle phase, they can't skip their battle phase at all because if you control your bell monster, you're forced to swing into it. Yeah. So like, funny enough, uh, someone didn't know about this yesterday. I had a U build on board and I had pain. And I go battle on my shirt. Uh, they, they, they swung me with Guardian for 41. I was like, okay, that's game. Yeah. That's game. They're like, how's the game? I'm like, because you take double damage. Oh, man. Because this, this, this gives you... Uh, you don't take battle damage and you also lose uh, attack points or light points if you swing into this and it's the same thing. I had a scenario where I went to game or on um, time whenever Pydra was swinging 
and apparently like he wasn't taking any battle damage but with this isn't an effect damage not a battle damage mm. so that's how i won my uh yeah what was it my round three i think my round three or round four i don't remember that's crazy. but this this car is a real mvp because you know it gets you places it, it takes you places yeah that's crazy the one spice card that uh, shout out to my boy henry foolish oh yeah foolish gets you this gets you this or gets you this just to make the phantom that's crazy get the phantom just to get get a free uh not monster negate but like you know an, an, an interruption for your place so i really like this card i'm planning on cutting it later whenever feast Mech comes out but i mean at the meantime i really like this card Hell yeah. came out you know with the one terraforming of course the one called by previous the the small unchained package that's crazy right now i'm trying this i like it because there's plays where i can make rage and from rage i could just build up for appaloosa and then during the sandbar or draw phase, I just I just flip this, bring out rage. So now I will have Appaloosa, two monster, or one Omni, one monster negate, and then one interruption, which is probably the strongest board I have ever made yesterday. The one Chronicle. A lot of people don't a lot of people don't like this, but while testing, the reason why we play this is I'm gonna get to it right now, but I'll explain why. So I'll just keep it to the side. Hand trap wise, three ash, you have to play ash. Given. Three ogres, the best against Voyager's voice, against the mirror. Anything that needs a, a field spell card or air whatsoever, this card is like really good. Yeah. A lot of people should be playing this more. Three emperors, two veilers, and two gold mourners. I'm, I'm thinking about cutting mourner because I feel like a lot of people could play around it ish. So I feel like I'd rather stop here. I I'm want to replace this for draw, actually. Only because I lose the draw to yeah. this deck. And by replacing that, we play Cross Out. Yeah. So this is there's a tech that uh, uh, my boy told me where we cross out a hand trap. Let's say we cross out Valor whatsoever. And we have a well, Chronicle on board. If we have two counters, we add it right back to hand. So you get a free, you get a free hand trap. That's free, crazy. free hand trap. It's so dumb. So, I mean, playing this with this is just, if you get enough counters, you get to get a free hand trap, whatever they hand trap you off of. That's crazy. Really good. And we're gonna go to the Astro deck real quick. Astro deck, Omrosh. I didn't like it at first, but the more that I've been playing, playing the deck, this comes up a lot. You can make SP or, you know, you trying to get something on board and then just make Typhon whatsoever. But this this comes in a lot. Yeah. A lot of people, this is debatable right now, but Crossy, I think Crossy is one of my favorite cards. Because if you go to Phantom, while the arrow points to, you go Crossy Perfect, re Reborn at level, uh, level 4 or lower. So any like, any of your, uh, any like your hand trap you use, or this, or Lotus, or any of these, like you can just reborn them for free and just keep linking up whatsoever. Uh, Mudcracker, best card against, uh, what is it, for Tempi, whenever you make the Griffin Lock, I really love it. If you try to destroy your Bell Monster or whatsoever, you distribute it for cost, saves a lot. SP, you have to play this. I wanted to get rid of it, but. SP is mandatory in this deck. Mandatory. You play the one Rage, the one Yama, one Clifford. Clifford is probably the best. My favorite card actually. Because even if they try to destroy it, you just add a free card back to hand and you just keep playing from there. The one Apple, the one Access Code, and the one Griffin. Access Code for game, Griffin Lock for Tenpai, they can't do anything. And mm -hmm. then that's for links right there. We have to play these. Oh, these are given, bro. This, this is why I play Dark Breaking Beats with 2 3 because I make this Gym Buster. Amazing card. Uh, Boo, well, Boo Legged Baron. I still love this card because there's another list where I've been seeing where they cut out Cross Sheep for Abyss Actor. And the Abyss Actor Link 2 says, like, let's say you're using the Naked Rated. 
You go abyss actor, pop this, effect, pop your opponent's card on the on the field. Oh man. Yeah. And the main two. Yeah. Phantom of Bell. This card is finally came out. Finally came out. The best card. I love this card a lot. It's so good. Whenever they try to use a monster and they get whatsoever, you just go tribute for cost. You can't do it. I love this card a lot. For my side, I am iffy on it right now, but as of like right now, I really like it a lot. We're siding in the one lovely defender. This card won me a, a game yesterday. And usually, what I usually side out going first is I side out uh, Typhon. Yeah. Because honestly, the way I see it is like I don't need Typhon whatsoever. I can side that out. So don't ever side these out. Whatever yeah, you really need them. And you could play three, but two. I play two because you could recycle this with uh, Nightmare uh, Throne. So I mean, it's whatsoever. I like playing two. And then the MVP of my tourney. Eternal favorite. I just found out that this card, you, this card for cause, and this gets tribute for cause, so it plays around Ogre. That's crazy. So they either have to negate it, or Omni negate it, or whatsoever. So yeah. I, this, this, I like this package a lot, but I want to. I actually want to play this more than, like, basically just side out Typhon, put Typhon aside, and just main this. Yeah. I feel like it's better like that, but I mean, I'll probably give it a try next week, see what happens. Back row, hey, three cosmic. We want to, we want to say screw you to uh, Tempies. They, yep. they're trying to resolve the field spell. You get rid of it. They can't do nothing. We play this for the, for the Labyrinth matchup. Anything that plays back row, tier whatsoever. I like it, but side might be switched out later on. Yeah. Three droplets. I'm iffy about this card right now because I haven't really seen it in play or like anything that I need is necessary. It's like, yeah, it's good against Tempi because they go ba uh, damage step or whatsoever. You just go droplets in whatever you don't need. But like, I'm iffy on it, but at the same time, like, I like it a lot. Yeah. So, let's see what happens with this. I might cut this, but you know, more half traps is better. My favorite card, D Barrier. Hits Ritual Beats, hits Voice Voices Boys, it hits Tempai. Tempai for Synchro. Yeah, it hits a lot. This of is a strong card. I won't be surprised if they actually hit this to one, to be honest, because this is a really strong card. Because it also, it also hurts me too, because let's say, like, in the mirror match, let's say I use my Phantom first before you're, you're any other place. I just flip this, go, okay, calling Fusion. Now you can't make your own Phantom. Yeah. Or XE, whatever you don't need. And then my last card, Diddy Crow. Same scenario, voices, voice, get rid of the low. Mirror match, get rid of the Swarmer to uh, banish a special summon. And that's about it. Oh, any final words, man? Um, shout out to Henry, to be honest, because he gave me a decent list to try it out. I like it a lot. But. During Phoenix Smith, it's gonna be different, but I'm pretty excited to play the deck. Cool. I love the deck. I think this is my style deck. And shout out to you for recording this. <laughs> love you, man. All right, we out. Bye. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. Don't forget to check out Dank Rituals. Their link will be down in the description. Also, you guys should definitely join my Facebook group. I have a lot of really cool updates and a lot of uh, really good information that you guys might want to keep up with about giveaways and whatnot on there. Uh, also, please, guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I would like for you guys to turn on that bell notification as well. I would like to grow my percentage of subbed and not subbed from 20% higher. Uh, I, would, I would really appreciate that. And don't forget to like, comment, share. You already know, guys. Appreciate y'all very much, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Yeah.